Hi everyone, welcome to um, this video clip where we are demonstrating a play therapy intervention called All Around Me. And it's a play therapy intervention where we use miniatures. And so we're actually in our sand tray therapy room at the All Play Clinic. And Nolan is here to help me. Welcome, Nolan. Hello. So we do use miniatures. So we have obviously a lot of miniatures in our sand tray room that kids can access. But we don't really use the sand tray. Um, we don't really need it or have to have it. So if you've got miniatures or toys in your playroom, you don't have a sand tray, perfectly fine. So the way this works, Nolan, is I want you to go find a miniature for each person in your life that is important to you. You can think about who those people are. You get to decide that. And then for each one, you get a miniature that you feel like describes them. And you can pick any kind of miniature, people, animals, things, doesn't matter. And then bring them back and sit down and then place them around you, anywhere you want around your body, however you want. And then when you get them all placed, I'll tell you what we're going to do with them, okay? Are you ready? Mm -hmm. All right, go. Good luck. <laughs> this might be the hardest part. Chicken. Oh, you're looking for a chicken. Hmm. I'll just do a Whatever this is called, buffalo. Okay. Okay. Looks like you're finding some. Hmm. There are not many things to choose from. Because um, I need a turtle. Oh, okay. You're looking for a turtle. There are not many turtles to choose from, I should say. Checking out all the different miniatures. Now I need an electronic of some sort. Oh, some type of an electronic. Do you see what I want to be? Hmm, some type of an electronic. I'm not sure. Like you kind of know what you're looking for, but I can't but you find can't quite it. find it exactly. Hmm. See, you do have some collected, but you're looking for another one.
Um, now the only one I need is an electronic. It's the last one. You really feel like it needs to be some kind of electronic. Yeah. Or a machine. Or some kind of machine. It's just tough. This last one is kind of hard. Hmm. I don't know. And I also don't know what we could substitute for an electron. Mm -hmm. You're thinking maybe you could just substitute something, but you're not sure what it would be. I guess this could work. This guy kind of looks like a robot. Okay. So you found something that could work. Mm -hmm. So you've got all your stuff. Now just set them around you wherever you want them to be around you. Okay. You get to decide that. And then when we go around and talk about them, we'll kind of hold them up so everybody can see them. Okay. You're getting them placed. So kind of figuring out your placement. Okay. Okay, so you're going to roll kind of right here in a row in front of you. So which one do you want to start with? Tell us, show us your item and tell us who this okay. is. This giraffe the party hat represents dad. <gasps> because your favorite <laughs> animal is a giraffe mm -hmm. and I think you're funny. Oh, so. This show? Represents my mom because she likes the ocean. Mm -hmm. This gir this giraffe represents my grandpa because he's tall. Okay, that one's pretty tall. This giraffe, I mean, <laughs> this not giraffe. I'm just so used to saying giraffe. <laughs> this buffalo represents my grandma because she likes farm animals. Okay. This robot looking thing represents my other grandpa because he likes electronics and working on machines and stuff. And this camper van represents my other grandma because she likes traveling. Okay, so you've got two grandmas, two grandpas, mom and dad in here represented, yeah. all kind of lined up in front of you. And I just figured out I'm missing one. This. Oh, you're going to do an ad, okay? So this what is, here? This is me because I really like dinosaurs and other creatures, and this is my favorite prehistoric creature. You got yourself in there. And this is called a dimetrodon. All right. So it sounds like you found everybody that you wanted to add in here. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that you want to change your ad before we? End it. Yes. Okay. Well, you can do that. <laughs> Looks like you're looking for something. These two things. Mm -hmm. I thought they looked like little game pieces, mm -hmm. and that's why I chose them. These represent my uncle because he really likes um, games and toys, and he's really cool. Okay. So now we've got yourself added and your uncle, mm -hmm. and you've got them all kind of just lined up in front of you. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you, Nolan, for demonstrating for us. Appreciate it.
And when you do this with the kids that you're working with, that's pretty much how you do it. Give them their time to find what they want to find uh, for each of the people in their life that they feel are important to them. And that's kind of how I just say, I don't say necessarily your family members. I just say people that are important to you. And then it's always kind of interesting to see who the child selects. And Nolan had his off kind of right in front of him, but it's always interesting to see where kids place things too. Sometimes they put them all around their body for different reasons or put people or miniatures that represent the people in different positions around their body. And that's something that you can ask them about when you do this intervention as well. So great job, great job showing and demonstrating, Nolan. Appreciate you. And I think um, that's it. We're going to wrap it up. So please uh, like if you like this video, subscribe to the channel. Uh, join us next time. Come back, watch more videos, and check out more about Alt Play on our website. And we will see you next time.